Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing. Oh. Unboxing here on Soto Pop. Soto. All right, as always, I'm your host of Frozen Stratos, and today, um, I, you know, as always, uh, I got another box from Mandarake, uh, and this again, out of the four packages that I ordered right before Sal got shut down. Um, I only received one of them, and this is not one. This is a completely different package. Um, it had a bunch of items. Well, it had one item that um, I figured I might as well get because it's sort of rare and it like just popped up. And then just whatever the heck was was sort of left um, in, in my cart that I was gonna check out with uh, eventually anyway. Uh, and it had, it all just sort of lined up. Also, Lysol this thoroughly um, and took the proper precautions. So don't, you know, handle your packages carefully. Um, take that however you may. Uh, ooh, oh, okay, yeah. I forgot that I got some of these things. Um, so there are candy toy items here that came out during I don't know what year it was. Let me, let me look for that. I oh the year 2000 when Kuga came out. Um, he actually had candy tour figures, and I saw these up on um, on Mandarake, and I I thought you know why not why not give it a try. I I don't know anything about these toys, and again completely forgot that they were in my my uh, my order. Um, I, ooh. Uh, so basically the whole, I guess, theme of this box was to complete a little bit more of some ghost stuff, so I got the Drive and O's armor. I have notifications blaring right now because it's probably time to head to RR the streets right now. Um, so that's, that's just happening on my phone. Um, my iPad's too far away to stop that from happening. I also got, oh, uh, an already opened... Um, Zect Trooper, I figured with Cal uh, Kabuto coming out in Shoto, um, that would be a neat thing to, to sort of just have an extra of, and even if they do more, it's like an army builder, dude. Like, you can't not, you know, you can't go wrong with those. Um, and they probably opened that one because I believe that there was a chase variant for the, uh, the gold striped ones, uh, that were under, um, Zabi. Uh, also got... I believe Edison and Musashi? Maybe not. Maybe I'm getting those names wrong. Um, but they do come with the different weapons and stuff. And I do wonder if this comes... Mm, do they come with weapons? They do! Ooh, they come with weapons uh, from, you know, that show. I also got another one of these. Um, and I forget... I can't quite tell which one's which uh, from this lineup. But there is... Uh, I believe that's a Spider-Man, Kuga, Grunt, and then the uh, Rising. Not Rising. No, that's incorrect. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna get at me in the comments about the name of that thing. Um, but it's his his previous form. Uh, then we have like some Combat Man and Ichigo. So I, I am I am gonna crack these open uh, during this. Um, and then wow. Okay. Here is the. Oh. Oh, yeah! Okay, so this is actually my very first sample of an unopened um, Kamen Rider Double Revol Change figure. Uh, now, they released um, the main three forms and Cyclone. Oops. Uh, Cyclone. Did I say Cyclone? Cyclone? No. Uh, Fang Joker. Um, so, in the first wave, they did the main three forms, and then I believe it was just a, a re release. Or just a release of this bike because the bikes didn't have um, the other bike, like the other Cyclone side of it, didn't have the boosters on it. Uh, and then in the second set, they re released it but with Fang Joker. And on the back, you get to see the lineup. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the main changes to this set are uh, the Axel, who comes with that huge, like, caterpill caterpillar tank thing. I forgot what it was. I could be wrong on some of these things, that's just from memory, um, the knowledge that I've accumulated. I got an extra one of these, um, 
just because uh, I, I used the weapons from this for wizard and if I wanted to, to use this again oh also I could use bits of the blood orange to make uh, some other evil rider I forgot his name uh, but whatever I got, got an extra one of these just because I need the base body um, to actually use to make the different proto um, pro I'm guys' prototypes from the stage show. Um, saving that one for last. Uh, got another Sigurd because I lost a horn sticker um, and then I just painted it and then I found it and then I wanted to do a custom with it. So then I just, uh, I just got an extra. Um, and then, uh, let's see, the last two, well, some of the other two, um, uh, what are they, ghosts? Uh, I don't know their names but I did actually get boost uh, boost is that is that what this guy is I forget the name it, it, it's boost right it's probably boost someone someone tell me um, but yeah I this is the one that I saw go up uh, and I wasn't about to miss out on him uh, so yeah there's that um, again I want to open these up and see what these are all about I know that they're different ones and I can't I can't tell how they were able to figure out what was in here, but they they indicated that these are two different ones. Oh, and you know what? These are these are previously opened, I think. Um, so that's probably how. Uh, let me get my knife. Just I I am so curious. I wonder what sort of scale this is about. Oh, they opened it from the bottom. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's a st Oh, this is tiny, dude. The heck? Oh, wow. <gasps> That's so neat. It comes with a little catalog. This is the one I have. I believe it's one of the Combat Moon. This is tiny. Interesting. I mean, again, like... Not again, I didn't say anything about this before, but like... Man, this has been sealed this whole time. Um, sorry, I had a moment. Uh, this is previously unknown to me. Um, and I was chatting like a while ago, chatting with a few people on the the Soda Pop Candy Toy Corner Discord um, about how there were like uh, these these bubble carded figures of like classic guys. Um, oh wow, this is so, this is so interesting. Uh, let's, let's do a few scale comparisons. Let me grab, oh wait, let's build this stand first. That's neat. This is a very nice stand. It has a little Shocker logo there too. That's dope. Uh, I wonder how, hmm, okay. So it just sort of... Well, now this is less cool, because now it's just like... Whatever. Um, but yeah, I didn't buy this for the stand. He also comes with uh, two weapons that are just like sort of taped to this cardboard, probably to, to keep them straight, but... Man, this is interesting. Um, again, he's puny. Like, not in scale at all, but I do... I do think there might be an avenue where this guy could be in scale to something. Um, I'm taking out my um, Microman Magna Powers guys, uh, and wow, he's even shorter than them. Like a, a whole head shorter. Let's get my Ryuki one, which notably not part of the uh, Magnet line, the Microman Magna force magna powers or whatever skills a little better i mean like these guys are technically wearing armor and these guys are like skin tight suits so you can fudge it okay that's not it's interesting I, I don't think i'll be dipping any further into the line but i did want to procure these just because i was i was um oh wow okay whoa these joints are strange okay so he is able to get this like outward like this splits right 
but like the joint's not situated in any normal sort of way like oh wow and kick forward but like the joint if you look at it is seated in the back oh man my my camera can't get quite good shots of this but this is such a strange figure like the the two joints are like out like it's it's like a ball joint pointed this way like like you know ball joint but like oriented like this forward and then the leg is just plugged in it's like it's like the the, the crotch joints here but like sideways i don't know how to i don't quite know how to explain it but like oh yeah so like that like that's how it's oriented on the joint right and that's how it's its axes of rotation work um so that's that's different that's strange man um but yeah he's got tons of joints like there's this strange uh diagonal cut here uh, for him to get like that outward, it reminds me a lot of some old Star Wars figures. So like, and like that, um, that bicep or that shoulder does rotate. Oh, I don't know, man. What a what a weird layout. I don't I don't know that I <laughs> like this, but okay. I uh, who else did I get? <laughs> that would be a good question to ask. I know. I was, I, what intrigued me was that there were some, like, villains in here, um, but, again, they're, I'm sorry about all the notification stuff, these are not gonna be in scale, uh, to anything, so again, I'm, I'm not gonna dive too deep on these, but this is Spider Guy, um, let's see, I was hoping, um, they were gonna be in scale, with uh, at least Shoto, uh, but it, it looks like these guys are tiny. Uh, oop, there he is. That's that's some pretty good detail. Like I will say, there's some very nice sculpt here. Not gonna lie. Um, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's. These are these are interesting, man. Does this guy have a? Oh, wow. An ab ball joint, perhaps? I don't know. I, I hesitate to say that because they have such strange articulation layouts. I don't... These are weird, dude. They're, they're very nicely sculpted. I just... I can't get behind the design mentality of just these, these strangely cut swivels. I don't even know if this guy has... Oh, yeah. He does have swivel hands. They're just... I don't know, man. It's interesting, um, and I'm glad I, I gave them a shot. They weren't too much money, or only a couple of dollars, and I figured it'd be a waste to, like, I, that, that's worth that amount of money to me just to understand what these are and if I need to get more. And thankfully, um, I don't need to get more of these. Uh, one of the only candy toy lines that I... You know what? These didn't have candy. And that's probably because they were previously open, so that makes sense. Um, yeah, that was interesting. He comes with his catalog as well. I wonder... Combat, man. Was... Okay, yeah. He does come on his own as well. Uh, yeah. That's neat. Um, again. Not buying these ever again, but I'm, I'm glad to sort of have them. I do... I do really want to open this up. Uh, that was upside down because I've never, I've never opened one of these before. Um, the ones that I do have, uh, and I don't have Fang Joker, so that's why I got this one. Um, oh, and the the axle from this line is just a bike. Like he doesn't, he isn't a dude, which is strange. Like why wouldn't they? But uh, okay, let's open this up. Well, that was pretty easy. Got that. Ah! Sugar pill. Uh, back in ye old pill days. The, uh, oh wow. Wow, stickers. Interesting. I'm not quite sure what any of this says, but there might have been some sort of revision that wasn't 
part of like the the instructions on the inside of this. This part, <clears throat> however, um, this is uh, maybe not. It's like the figure. Figure is in decent shape. Like I mean, obviously it's been in box, but like this white is not like. It's coming in very nicely, like the white balance on, on whatever settings I put, like it does look white, but in in my eyes it doesn't necessarily look yellow, but it does have like that, you know when um, something is glow in the dark, but it's in regular color? It looks like it's that, but it won't glow in the dark. Um, bike, uh, and like I said, this one comes with... Uh, boosters uh, and then also a very mangled sticker sheet I'm not not looking forward to, to applying those again uh, my other ones those were secondhand so I never put those stickers on myself and for whatever reason they remained on like they, they're still on there okay. I know I got double hanging out here so yeah, these stickers like these are second hand. I like I don't I don't know how they've been able to stay on all these years. Uh, presumably, this person did it, you know, whenever they whatever year they got it in. But yeah, so it's awesome to add another one of these to my collection. I'm very happy about that. Okay, well notifications keep going off. It I guess it's time to go, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. Um, thank you for joining me on this very interesting uh, Kamen Rider Candy Toy journey. Because um, I am discovering a lot more candy toy lines that I previously had no idea existed. Uh, there are, uh, before I go, there are some, uh, uh, what's Dragon Knight? Ryuki and um, Fi's candy toys under the title... Kamen Rider World, which is a name that they reused for some, like, big-headed figures. Either way, that's another line that I've been meaning to take a look at. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in any of that stuff, uh, one, hop on over to the Candy Toy Corner Discord, and two, do some research. Uh, it's some interesting stuff. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Keep it juicy.